where that seafood you eat comes from. Tonight, the Food and Drug Administration is questioning the contents of some seafood from China. The FDA has issued an import alert for catfish, bassa, das, shrimp, and eel from China. The foods can be sold only if future tests show that they're clear of contamination. Erica Lewis is live tonight uh, to explain the reason be uh, behind the alert and what it could mean for prices. Erica? Arturo, the alert was issued because testing found antibiotics in the foreign fish, drugs that have not been FDA approved. And China is the world's leading producer of farm-raised fish, so if companies stop selling it, the prices could spike, even at places like Marsix Fine Foods here that does not sell fish from China. At Marsix Fine Foods in Denver, they can tell you where all of their seafood comes from. China supplies more than 20% of all imported fish. So the owners here hope the FDA's alert won't increase demand from their suppliers and drive up the cost for certain seafood. If your main source has just been cut off, uh, you're going to be scrambling to fill in that product for your customers, and so your prices could very well go up. The FDA announced an import alert for five major types of farm-raised seafood from China. It includes the popular shrimp. Testing found antibiotics in the fish the FDA has not approved. It won't immediately make you sick, but there is concern prolonged consumption could cause health problems. Since officials have no idea how much of the contaminated fish is currently in the country, the best thing for consumers to do is to ask their restaurant or supermarket where their seafood is coming from. If you ask behind the seafood counter, the person selling that seafood should be able to tell you this is where our seafood comes from. Seafood from China will be detained until it can be proven it does not contain the potentially dangerous antibiotics. Arturo? Okay, thank you, Erica. The seafood is just the latest in a series of warnings about Chinese-made products. They include a recall of toothpaste made with a toxic ingredient found in antifreeze, toy trains painted with lead paint, and defective truck tires linked to at least one death. Yesterday, China announced it is closing 200 food 